Hey everybody, VY2MJ here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to enter frequencies, a repeater, and give you the ability to scan those frequencies in a couple different ways. So what we're gonna do is, if we're in memory mode, we're gonna slip over to VFO mode here with the VM button. And there's a number of ways we can enter this new frequency. Some people prefer the microphone. Just type in 146520. And you heard the beep, that frequency is now entered, and it's entered as a simplex frequency. Now, if we wanted to change that, we could use the big knob to alter the kilohertz, or we could press it in, and we can alter the megahertz. If we coast into a repeater area, you'll see the little negative on the top. It will automatically set plus or minus, or simplex modes, for you, and in most cases, that's perfectly acceptable. Now, if you do want to change other things, what you can do is you can hold the function down for more than uh, a few seconds, and around the 25 or so, you've got memory functions here, and you can set your repeater shift. I'm not going to get into all this because I want to keep this short. Uh, you can set odd splits and all kinds of nifty doodle stuff, but the best thing to do is to set up your quick menu. So when I press the function quickly, oop, there's my quick menu. If I want to set my squelch, I can set it for tone and code, tone and code with tone squelch, and all the other stuff you're probably never going to use. For this particular case, if we had it on tone squelch, over in tone we could set the frequency over here and of course all these things can be configured or moved around with the knob as well but I think the touch screen you know sort of makes the touch screen redundant if you're always using the knobs so a lot of stuff can be set there you can also hit the power button and it will save the power with this memory we've got tone squelch let's turn our tone off 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 so we're probably not going to be using a tone squelch unless we're in a big city and we're trying to get around intermod or use it as a selective call. Uh, the other way is just hold this screen for a minute. One, four, six, and then of course we can use the knob as well. I don't know why you'd want to, it's kind of slow. Five, two, zero. And it's entered. Now to save this to a memory location, you only have a thousand memories on this radio. You hold down the MW button, which is just below or on the same button as the VFO memory button. And you can select an active memory to overwrite it, which we're not going to do. Or you can select a new memory. So we're going to select this one. We're going to write it with the function button. However, what we do want to do is we do want to go into the memory, hold down this button here, the VM, go into that, select it, go to edit, and one thing we can change, which will be really handy, and you're taking advantage of the what this radio can do on the display, is tag is more like a description or the text. So just select tag, hit the function button. I prefer caps. And of course, like I said before, you can dial around here. It's a lot faster if I just hit CA. LL. We'll call it the call me channel. Hold down the function button for more than a couple seconds. Also, if you're going to be scanning, whether you're scanning all your memories or a particular band, this will make it either inclusive or exclusive, or whether or not it will or will not scan that. We'll hit OK. Boom. Hit OK again. Bob's your uncle. Go back to memories. We'll see that memory 24, call me, has its named is 146.52 and if you want to get really fancy you could go back into here use the bottom button to go up to LCD color change it to red I don't know if I like that better or worse so now it's changed the frequency scanning in the top left hand corner ooh, there's a real call you will see M dash all. M means we're in memory if you're in VFO. VFO, it says VFO. Back to memory, it says memory. But you could also hit the band button and it will go to the aircraft, the VHF, 
or the UHF band. So let's say, for instance, we want to scan all the memories. We would just select all, and then we'd select function. If your quick function menu is set up, we're going to hit scan, or you'd have to select that from the menu uh, in here. I'm not even sure. Here is 52. It would do the same thing. Uh, if you want to scan just, say, the, the VHF frequencies or UHF, because they seem to be quieter right now, we select M, memory, UHF, press the function, press the scan, and away you go. Now you're just scanning the UHF frequencies in the primary band. That's it for now. Hopefully I covered it quick enough. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Be sure to, to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and have yourself a fun-filled day.